China just leaked something absolutely wild. GLM5 is training right now, not coming soon, not planned, actually training. And the specs on this thing could change everything. This might be the model that finally challenges GPT-5 and Claude. Let's break down what we know. Now, before we start, quick disclaimer, everything I'm covering today is based on leaks and unofficial sources. Nothing here is officially confirmed by CAI, but the evidence is pretty compelling. So here's what happened. In the internal letter from founder Tang Jie, they confirmed something huge. GLM5 is actively training right now, not planned, not roadmapped, training. And they're using the IPO proceeds to accelerate research and development on this thing. Now, why does this matter? Because GLM4 and GLM4.5 are already crushing it in China. We're talking top 1% on the Tsinghua Superbench leaderboard domestically. They're beating out models like Ernie Bot in text tasks, reasoning and coding. But globally, they're still trailing GPT-5 and Claude. GLM5 is designed to close that gap. And if the leaks are accurate, this could be the model that puts Chinese AI on the global map in a serious way. Let me give you some context on where GLM4 stands right now. On coding benchmarks, GLM4.5 hits 82% on human evil. That's really solid. It's currently ranked number two among open source models globally. In China, it's leading the pack alongside Baidu's Ernibot 4.0 on Chinese specific evaluations. But when you compare it to GPT-5 or Claude on international benchmarks, there's still a noticeable gap. GLM5 is being built specifically to eliminate that gap. They're talking about agentic breakthroughs, novel architectures that go beyond traditional transformers and scaling this thing up to potentially a trillion parameters. That's massive. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The community buzz around this is exploding on Reddit and X. People are predicting that GLM5 might be released as an open weight model. Look at what happened with Llama from Meta. Open models create ecosystems. They build developer loyalty and they can disrupt the market faster than closed models in some cases. Think about what this could mean for the AI space right now. If you're building AI tools or automations, you're probably using GPT-5, Claude, or maybe Gemini, but GLM 4.5 is already priced at around 11 cents per million input tokens. That's dirt cheap compared to Western models. If GLM 5 comes out with frontier level performance at those prices, or even as a free open weight model, it could shift 5% or more of users away from Claude and GPT. That's not a small number. That's a legitimate market disruption. And here's something else to consider. ZAI is positioning themselves as China's answer to OpenAI. They're not playing around. The internal letter from Tang Jie mentioned that they're working on novel architectures for 2026. That means they're not just scaling up existing transformer models. They're experimenting with new approaches, new ways to handle reasoning, agentic workflows, and long context tasks. This is the kind of R&D that could produce genuinely different capabilities, not just incremental improvements. Let's talk benchmarks for a second, because this is where the rubber meets the road. GLM4 and GLM4.5 dominate Chinese leaderboards. They're in the top 1% on Tsinghua, Superbench for text generation, reasoning and coding tasks. But on global benchmarks, GPT-5 still leads in coding and math. Claude is ahead on nuanced reasoning and writing. GLM-5 is being designed to compete head to head with these models. If they pull it off, you're looking at a Chinese model that can genuinely compete with the best Western AI on every major benchmark. And if it's open weight, that changes everything. Now, I want to pause here for a second because this ties directly into something we talk about all the time in the AI profit boardroom. Automation. Using AI to save time, streamline workflows, and scale your business. Imagine you're running a content agency. Right now, you're using ChatGPT or Claude to generate blog posts, social media content, or video scripts. That costs you per token. But if GLM5 comes out as an open model, with similar or better quality, you could run it locally or use it through cheap API providers. Or think about coding. If GLM5 matches GPT-5 on coding tasks, you could use it to build internal tools, automate repetitive tasks, or even train your team on AI-assisted development without worrying about API costs piling up. This is the kind of thing we teach inside the AI Profit Boardroom, how to leverage the best tools, stay ahead of trends, and use AI to actually grow your business, not just play with shiny new toys. If you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like GLM5 when it drops, check out the AI Profit Boardroom. The link is in the description. We cover exactly how to implement these tools in real world scenarios so you're not left guessing. All right, back to the leaks. So what are people saying about GLM5's capabilities? 
The big themes are agents and reasoning. Agents are AI systems that can take actions, not just generate text. Think of an AI that can browse the web, interact with APIs, book appointments, or manage workflows without you micromanaging every step. That's agentic AI. And it's the next frontier. GPT-5 has some agentic capabilities. Claude does too. But the rumor is that GLM-5 is being built from the ground up with agents in mind. That means better planning, better tool use, and better long-term task execution. If that's true, this could be a game changer for businesses using AI to automate complex workflows. And reasoning, this is where models get really powerful. Reasoning means the AI can think through problems step by step, not just pattern match from training data. It can solve novel problems, handle edge cases, and give you answers that feel genuinely intelligent, not just statistically probable. GLM4 already does well on reasoning benchmarks in Chinese. GLM5 is supposedly taking that to the next level with better multi-step reasoning and logical consistency. That's huge for use cases like legal research, technical support, or any domain where you need the AI to actually think, not just regurgitate information, now let's talk about the elephant in the room, open weight release. This is still speculation, but the signs are pointing in that direction. Why would ZI release GLM5 openly? A few reasons. One, it builds adoption fast. Two, it creates an ecosystem. Developers build on your model. They become loyal to your platform. Three, it's a competitive move. If you can't beat OpenAI on pure performance yet, you beat them on accessibility. If you give people a free alternative, that's 90% as good. And suddenly you've captured a massive user base. But here's the flip side. Open weight models can be fine tuned for malicious purposes. They can be used in ways the company doesn't control. So it's a gamble, but it's a gamble that's worked for Meta with Llama, for Mistral, and for other players. If ZAI goes this route, GLM5 could become one of the most widely used AI models in the world within months of release. Here's something else that's interesting. ZLAI's pricing strategy with GLM 4.5 is already undercutting Western models by a huge margin. At 11 cents per million tokens, they're making it incredibly cheap to build AI-powered applications. If GLM5 maintains that pricing or goes even lower, it's going to force OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google to reconsider their pricing. And we could see a price war in the AI space, which would be amazing for developers and businesses. Lower costs mean more experimentation, more innovation, and more real-world AI applications. Now let's talk about what happens if GLM5 actually delivers on the hype if it matches or beats GPT-5 on global benchmarks, if it excels at agentic tasks, and if it's released openly or at ultra low prices, you're looking at a fundamental shift in the AI market. Chinese AI has been strong domestically for a while, but it hasn't had the same global presence as American models. GLM-5 could change that. And from a business perspective, this is exciting because competition drives innovation. When multiple companies are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, we all win. We get better models, lower prices, and more options. Whether you're building AI tools, using AI for marketing, automating workflows, or just staying informed, having more high quality models to choose from is a massive benefit. Here's the timeline as best as we can piece it together from the leaks. GLM5 is training now. That means we're probably looking at a release sometime in 20 hours and 26, potentially in the next few months. ZLI hasn't given an official date, but based on typical training timelines for large models, mid to late 2026 seems realistic. So keep your eyes on this, follow the updates, join communities like the AI Success Lab, where people are tracking these developments in real time, because when GLM5 drops, you want to be ready to test it, integrate it, and use it before your competition does. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and over 100 AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. We break down exactly how to use these tools in real-world scenarios, not just theory. You'll see step-by-step -step workflows, automation templates, and proven strategies that people are using right now to save time and grow their businesses. Uh, to wrap this up, GLM5 is training. The leaks suggest it's going to be a major release with trillion parameter scale, agentic capabilities, and potentially an open weight release. If it delivers on even half of what's being rumored, this could be one of the biggest AI stories of 2026. Chinese AI is leveling up, and the global AI landscape is about to get a lot more competitive. Stay tuned, stay informed, and make sure you're ready to leverage these tools when they drop. Drop a comment below if you're hyped about GLM5 or if you think it's all just hype. And subscribe so you don't miss the next update when this thing actually releases. Let's go.